are celebrating Valentine's Day one day early. We decided to celebrate today on a Sunday. We have dinner reservations tonight, uh, but for now we are just grabbing lunch in Melrose area. I just wanted to find something that's near this area because we're going to the Rail Rail right afterwards. This is just like the closest thing nearby that had outdoor seating because we brought Michi. But yeah, we'll see how the food tastes. I got a grain bowl, and then Wa got a lasagna. Overall, I thought the food was okay. Some things tasted fresher than others, but I'm really glad we gave them a try. After lunch, we walked across the street to the Real Real. It was only about a block away. It was really hot though, and Michi was getting a little overheated. But once we got to the Real Real, I checked out this vintage Celine bag. I first saw it online, and I really wanted to see it in person. It's gorgeous. Um, however, I did not end up buying it because I thought it was not in the best condition, or at least the condition that I had hoped it would be although it was vintage so i ended up walking away from this but i just wanted to show you guys because it was a beautiful after that we headed on home i'm dressed ready for dinner I'm going for a little sexy vibe tonight i'm wearing this rumi dress that is super sheer can you see my underwear yeah, you can see my underwear, it's super sheer and sexy. I'm gonna wear a blazer over it. I have my Chanel Diana. These are from Looks Like Summer. I regret not getting the one with the heel. This one has like a, like a tiny half inch, but it would be nice to have a little more height in these because it does feel a little flat, but they're so cute, pretty comfortable. So they come up right below the knee. For reference, I'm 5'5". Five, five. <laughs> So it hits me right there. <laughs> this is my first omakase experience. We decided to have this today because I've never tried it and Wa's had omakase like three times now. Like this is the first item. It's no crap. With some type of uh, Japanese mayo. There was music playing in the restaurant, so to avoid getting copyrighted, I'm just going to walk you through my experience over voiceover. So for my first experience, I thought it was absolutely amazing. What I liked about it was that each sushi had some sort of seasoning, whether that is lime or sea salt or soy sauce or wasabi on it. So it wasn't just a hardcore raw fish. As someone that does not eat raw fish very often, this was great. The quality of the fish was so fresh. Fresh. I personally enjoyed the amberjack and sea bass the most. This was a 16 course meal and then after dessert basically 17 courses. I'll have to say I went into it thinking that I was not going to get really full because they're little pieces of sushi but girl by the time we got to the 12th course I was done. I was ready for the meal to be over but the fish kept on coming. So overall a really good experience. The price was $180 per person. If you guys do decide to come to this restaurant restaurant, I do recommend sitting at the bar. When we first arrived, they seated us at a table, but we quickly switched and I'm so glad because the overall vibe and ambiance at the bar is so much more lively and I like that the chef is able to just serve you whenever the sushi is ready. So overall, I had a really good experience, really glad I tried it and it was a great night. Here is my very poor first attempt at a charcuterie char Char charcuterie, am I saying it right? Why does it sound weird? Charcuterie board, um, obviously not really professional. I don't really know how I'm supposed to cut this cheese right here. I thought I can do slices, but it sort of just crumbled. I'm not sure if that's the correct knife either. Hopefully it is. Instead of wine, we're drinking green juice for some reason. <laughs> help, help. We do have a bottle of wine, which actually, yeah, I'll pour myself a glass. Really weird combination, but you know, that's us. I wanted to show you our coffee table situation right now. If any of you are ordering furniture, you know how long things are taking. Money, no. Please do not take. No, 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 no. She is a scavenger and she will snatch food if she can. So this is what we're working with. I have this little vintage stool that I placed our charcuterie board on top of. This is a plant stool. And I just put a little napkin 
got my wine glass. So this is our this is our little setup. Wall picked a movie. We're watching The Marksman. What is it? I can feel in that little brain that you are judging me. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of have a feeling. It seems like this face is saying, please give me a piece of cheese. We can maybe offer you a little something. You get a tiny cheese. Oh, that one does not know yet. I had a very productive morning. I went to Pilates and then I went grocery shopping and then I had a meeting for Dear Wildflowers and now I'm finally gonna get to meal prepping. Actually, I've done meal prepping a few times in my life, but the reason why I wanted to start meal prepping again is because I just wanna get on a healthy schedule with food or just with eating in general. I have a very odd times of eating like i don't really have a set schedule i usually just eat whenever i feel hungry but usually when i am hungry that's when i will make bad food choices because i just want something instant something quick so i would typically resort to like processed foods or like takeout i'm doing pilates going to the gym running and i'm doing all of these things that are good for my body but what i'm eating is not necessarily really good for my body so You'll be proud of me. I did not buy chips today when I went to the grocery store because that's always my go-to snack. Instead, I picked up fruit, you know? I'm not a health coach, so are these meals going to be perfectly balanced? I don't know. We will figure it out. But the whole point is that I'm just eating regularly, making better food choices. It isn't some sort of crazy diet plan, you know, because I am not that person. I'm not a nutritionist and I'm not seeking help from a nutritionist either this is really for me to just experiment i'm gonna start by maybe cooking four days worth of food see how that goes because i have a small kitchen so i don't know how exactly this is gonna play out but we'll try we'll try okay so let me show you what i picked up i was just online researching containers and i came across this brand it's from the brand inca i believe this is the 18 piece set that's what it looks like the packaging is very pretty and minimal I've been really enjoying brown rice. I think it's because it helps me poop. <laughs> it's been a while since I've done this, so I'm a little rusty. So I'm going to cook a four days worth of food. We'll see how long this is gonna take. Something I like to do while I'm prepping is put on a YouTube video. Today I put on Waz Vlog, which by the way, if you have not checked out his channel, I'll link it here on the screen. Definitely check out his channel for some cooking content. Usually I like to put something on while I'm doing the prep work because this process just takes so long. I especially hate smashing garlic, dicing them because garlic skin just gets everywhere. Whether I'm folding laundry, doing dishes, or prepping for food, I usually like putting something on and it just really helps speed up the process. So first up, I'm going to bake the snow peas. Super easy, super simple. I'm just using soy sauce, pepper, and a little drizzle of sesame oil. I then topped it with the diced garlic that I diced earlier, popped it in the oven, and baked it for 15 minutes at 400 degrees. So I changed my mind. Instead of having truffle salt salmon, I'm gonna do a honey garlic glazed salmon. This is my bowl to marinate the salmon. I'm gonna do soy sauce. This is a vegetarian mushroom sauce. I'm gonna use some honey. This honey is like the raw kind, so it's like really, really thick. Maybe I'll do some pepper. I'm just gonna do some white pepper. 
Now I'm gonna marinate this in here. Oh gosh, it's too small. It's okay, it will work. I'm gonna marinate this fish in here for maybe 30 minutes and then pop this in the air fryer. Now for the tilapia, I'm just gonna do a simple lemon pepper. So I'm just using some lemon pepper seasoning. This one's salt free, so I'm going to add salt to the fillets. I evenly coated the front and back with the lemon pepper seasoning and some sea salt. After that, I just popped it into my cast iron pan. I recently started using the cast iron again and I really like it. While the fish was cooking, I started on my potatoes. I am using two russet potatoes. I started by peeling them and then dicing them. After that, I put it into a bowl of salt water. I don't know why we do this, but I've always been taught that we have to salt the water for the potatoes, so I just do it. I'm jumping around a lot because I could not figure out what the right flow was, so bear with me. Right now, I am air frying my salmon. The salmon marinated for about 30 minutes, which I think if I marinated it for an hour, it would be even more flavorful. So just note to self next time, marinate it for a little longer. So while that is in the air fryer, I started working on the potatoes. The potatoes, I did a very simple recipe. I put in the diced garlic, sprinkled some salt and pepper on top, and towards the end, I sprinkled a little bit of rosemary for extra flavor and that was it. Oh, okay. I've been cooking for, I don't know, maybe like two hours now. I, I should have timed it, but it's been a while and it's going, it's going. It is quite a lot of work. I still haven't cooked dinner yet. So, so far I've only made lunch, which is, I need to have a better system, but it's going, it's going. Okay. I have so far in the past two hours accomplished just making lunch, but lunch for four days. Okay. So that's, that's not bad. That's not bad. Okay. Next time I'll definitely use the actual oven instead of the small toaster oven. I was just lazy. I didn't want to take everything out of this oven because you know, this is storage and there's just a lot of stuff in there. So I didn't want to take everything out, but I should do that next time. It would just make things a lot faster instead of using the small toaster oven. I filmed this video one week ago. So I had about a week with these Inca food containers and I really like them. I like that it's very lightweight. It does feel very sturdy and strong. The seal is also super strong. I did struggle with a few boxes where I just could not get it open and I needed water help so keep that in mind these boxes are very very airtight okay so this one turned out to be a lot drier than I thought <laughs> I don't know why in my head I envisioned like really juicy fish some soft succulent potatoes but everything just kind of ended up becoming really dry but luckily we have these beans so these beans will help add some moisture all right i think i'm over packing it at this point but bam so the presentation is not there but it's done <laughs> That took us so long. At this point, I don't know if I'm really saving myself time. First, four days of lunch, done. Breakfast is really easy because it's just overnight oats, so I'm gonna do that last. Now, I need to cook dinner. Girl, I'm so done. Moving on to dinner, I am making a tomato tofu dish. You may remember me making this dish in the past because this is one of my go-to favorites. And in case you're wondering, yes, these are the tomatoes from my backyard. You may remember seeing me film it in my IG reel. So many of you suggested that I keep the green tomatoes in a dark place and I cannot believe it, but they all ripened. So that batch of tomatoes lasted me for months.
For the tofu, I am using a medium firm organic tofu. You can either use medium, medium firm, or firm for this dish. It really doesn't matter. Then I pan fried them on medium heat. Now moving on to the cabbage. This is going to be my vegetable for both dinner meals. This tomato tofu dish is so, so easy to make. The only seasoning I use is fish sauce. There is so much flavor that's naturally coming from the tomatoes and the onions, so that's all you really need. Then I add in a little bit of hot water. I put the lid on to let it simmer for about five minutes. And to finish it all off, I put my green onions in, cover it one more time for about a minute, and it's ready to eat. Next up, I'm gonna make the ma po dao fu. It's pretty straightforward. So I don't know how much of this I really wanna show you. You literally put this sauce in the stove, you heat it up, and then you throw your tofu in there, let it simmer, and that is it. It's a lot better with Beyond Meat, but I don't have it. However, I did find this in the freezer, so I'll be adding some of this in there to give it a little more texture. I wanna eat this right now. And lastly, I just stir fried the cabbage with some fish sauce and garlic, and that is it. It's finished. Oh, so you can see it is dark outside. <laughs> I think I spent maybe about four hours on cooking everything, which is way too much time. That was fun. I was just in my zone cooking by myself. So now I'm just gonna wait for these to cool and pop them in the fridge. 